A story of resilience, wisdom, and triumph. A battlefield littered with fallen soldiers. In the midst of the carnage, a lone figure stands resolute, his face etched with calm determination. This is Marcus Aurelius, the Roman Emperor, amidst the turmoil of the Marcomannic Wars. Despite the chaos and uncertainty surrounding him, he remains unfazed, drawing upon the unwavering strength of Stoic philosophy. In a world increasingly plagued by anxiety, uncertainty, and conflict, the wisdom of Stoicism shines brighter than ever. For centuries, this philosophy has empowered individuals to navigate life's challenges with courage, reason, and resilience. Today, as we face our own complex and ever-changing world, the teachings of Stoicism offer invaluable guidance on how to live a meaningful and fulfilling life. Quote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Marcus Aurelius. This powerful quote captures the essence of Stoicism, a call to action, urging us to move beyond theoretical discussions and actively embody the virtues we admire. By aligning our thoughts, words, and actions with Stoic principles, we can cultivate inner peace, overcome adversity, and contribute positively to the world around us. Join us on a journey through the rich history of Stoicism, exploring its origins, evolution, and enduring impact on human thought and action. Discover how this ancient philosophy continues to guide us towards self-mastery, resilience, and a meaningful existence in the face of life's inevitable challenges. Stoicism, a journey towards inner peace and harmony. In a world of constant change and uncertainty, where external forces seem to exert immense control over our lives, Stoicism offers a powerful antidote, living in accordance with nature and reason. This ancient philosophy, born in the bustling streets of Athens over 2,000 years ago, continues to resonate with people seeking inner peace and a deeper understanding of themselves and their place in the world. Founded by Zeno of Citium, Stoicism flourished in the Hellenistic world, attracting prominent figures like Roman emperors, statesmen, and intellectuals. Its core principles centered around cultivating virtue, living in accordance with nature's laws, and practicing self-control over one's emotions and desires. The Stoic symbol, the Ourobros, beautifully represents the interconnectedness of all things and the cyclical nature of life. It reminds us that we are part of a larger whole and that finding harmony within ourselves is key to living a meaningful life. Stoicism is not just an abstract philosophy. It is a practical guide for everyday life. Through practices like meditation, self-reflection, and journaling, we can learn to manage our emotions, make rational decisions, and navigate challenges with grace and equanimity. In the next section, we will delve deeper into the historical roots of Stoicism and explore the key figures who shaped its development. We will discover how this powerful philosophy evolved over time and adapted to different contexts. Embarking on the Stoic journey, a look at its periods. Our adventure into the world of Stoicism continues. Just like our days are divided into morning, afternoon, and evening, the history of Stoicism can be divided into distinct periods, each offering unique insights and contributions. 1. Early Stoa, 3rd century BC Like a sunrise painting the sky with vibrant colors, the early Stoa period, 3rd century BC, marked the dawn of this influential philosophy. Led by the charismatic Zeno of Sidium, this period established the essential framework of Stoicism. Key Features of Early Stoa Focus on logic and reason as the foundation of knowledge and ethical conduct. Emphasis on living in accordance with nature and understanding one's place in the cosmos. Development of the Stoic division of philosophy into logic, physics, and ethics. Prominent figures Zeno, Cleanthes, Chrysippus. 2. Middle Stoa, 2nd and 1st centuries BC. As the sun reaches its peak, so too did Stoicism during the Middle Stoa period, 2nd and 1st centuries BC. This era was characterized by a widening of Stoic perspectives and a greater emphasis on its practical application. Key features of Middle Stoa Increased focus on cosmopolitanism and the idea of a world citizen. Integration of Stoicism with other Hellenistic philosophies. 
emphasis on the importance of personal development and character building. Prominent figures, Panatius, Posidonius, Cicero. 3. Late Stoa, 1st and 2nd centuries AD. As the sun begins to set, casting long shadows, the late Stoa period, 1st and 2nd centuries AD, saw Stoicism reach its peak of influence within the Roman Empire. Key features of late Stoa. Prominent Roman Stoics like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius. Emphasis on personal morality, self-discipline, and emotional resilience. Application of Stoic principles to leadership, politics, and social issues. Development of Stoic texts focused on practical guidance and self-improvement. Now that we have a glimpse into the different periods of Stoicism, let's dive deeper into the early Stoa and explore its fascinating organs and K-figures. Early Stoa. Meet Zeno, the father of Stoicism and the Stoa Poikile. Imagine yourself strolling through the bustling streets of Athens around 300 BC. Amidst the vibrant marketplace and passionate discussions, you might encounter a man named Zeno of Sidium. Little did anyone know at the time, this merchant-turned-philosopher would leave an indelible mark on history, becoming the father of the profound philosophy known as Stoicism, Zeno's early life and journey to Athens. Born in Sidium, Cyprus, Zeno's life took an unexpected turn after a shipwreck. Losing his possessions, he landed in Athens, where he embarked on a quest for knowledge. Studying under various esteemed philosophers, Zeno absorbed diverse perspectives, laying the foundation for his own unique philosophy. The Stoa Poikile, a birthplace of ideas. In 301 BC, Zeno established his own school at the Stoa Poikile, painted porch, a public space in Athens. This iconic location became the birthplace of Stoic teachings, attracting students from diverse backgrounds. The name Stoic itself originated from the Stoa Poikil, solidifying its association with this powerful philosophy. Zeno's contributions to Stoicism defined the three main branches of Stoicism, logic, physics, and ethics, emphasized the importance of living in accordance with nature and reason, advocated for virtue ethics, focusing on the development of key virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance introduced the concept of apatheia, not the absence of emotions, but the freedom from destructive emotions. Legacy of Zeno and the early Stoa. Zeno's teachings laid the groundwork for subsequent Stoic philosophers like Cleanthes and Chrysippus, who further refined and expanded his ideas. Early Stoicism played a pivotal role in shaping the intellectual landscape of the Hellenistic world and influencing various fields of thought. Zeno's legacy continues to inspire individuals today, offering guidance on navigating life's challenges with wisdom and resilience. In the next chapter, we will delve deeper into the Middle Stoa period and discover how Stoicism evolved and adapted to a changing world. We will see how prominent figures like Panaeidius and Posidonius Brodened, the reach of Stoicism, and made its principles more accessible to a wider audience. The Seeds of Wisdom Influence of Cynicism and Other Philosophies on Early Stoicism Like a seed sprouting and growing, early Stoicism didn't emerge in a vacuum. It drew inspiration from various philosophical currents of the Hellenistic world, particularly Cynicism and others. Recognizing these influences helps us understand the unique character and evolution of early Stoic thought. 1. Cynicism Cynicism with its emphasis on living a simple life in accordance with nature and rejecting societal conventions, had a profound influence on early Stoicism. Zeno, the founder of Stoicism, was initially a student of the Cynic philosopher Crates. Key Cynic influences, rejection of material possessions and social norms, focus on virtue and self-sufficiency, emphasis on living in accordance with nature, directness and outspokenness in challenging societal values. 2. Other Hellenistic Philosophies While Cynicism played a significant role, early Stoicism also absorbed and adapted elements from other Hellenistic philosophies. These influences enriched and broadened the scope of Stoic thought. Key Influences from Other Philosophies 
logic and reasoning from Aristotelianism, cosmopolitanism and the concept of world citizenship from Platonism, focus on happiness and tranquility from Epicureanism. 3. Integration and Transformation Early Stoics did not merely copy existing ideas. They critically analyzed, integrated, and transformed them into a coherent and distinct philosophical system. They refined cynic ideals by emphasizing reason and logic alongside natural living. They incorporated elements from other philosophies while maintaining their core focus on virtue ethics and living in accordance with nature. 4. A Unique Synthesis As a result of this intellectual cross-pollination, early Stoicism emerged as a unique and powerful philosophy. It offered a comprehensive framework for understanding the world, living a virtuous life, and navigating the challenges of the human experience. Early Stoic Luminaries, Cleanthes, and Chrysippus as we continue our journey through the history of Stoicism, let's meet two bright stars who shone during the early Stoic period, Cleanthes and Chrysippus. These remarkable individuals played crucial roles in shaping and solidifying the foundations of Stoic philosophy. Cleanthes, the water-carrying scholar. Cleanthes, Zeno's successor, as head of the Stoic school, was a man of humble beginnings. He worked as a water carrier to support himself while diligently attending Zeno's lectures. Despite facing challenges, Cleanthes's dedication and intellectual prowess saw him rise to become a leading Stoic thinker. Cleanthes' contributions developed the Stoic concept of apatheia further, emphasizing emotional control and freedom from negative emotions, advocated for a life of duty and fulfillment, emphasizing the importance of contributing to the greater good wrote extensively on various topics, including logic, physics, and ethics. Chrysippus, the second founder of Stoicism. Chrysippus, sometimes referred to as the second founder of Stoicism, was a prolific writer and thinker who made significant contributions to the development of Stoic philosophy. He systematized and refined the ideas of his predecessors, leaving a lasting impact on the future of Stoicism. Chrysippus's Contributions developed and formalized. Stoic logic, creating a rigorous system for analyzing arguments and distinguishing between truth and falsehood, further developed the concept of providence, arguing for a divinely ordered universe where everything happens for a reason, wrote extensively on various philosophical branches including logic, physics, ethics, and politics. Legacy of early Stoic luminaries, Clean these and Chrysippus, along with other early Stoics, played vital roles in shaping and disseminating Stoic ideas. Their contributions helped establish Stoicism as a major philosophical force in the Hellenistic world and laid the groundwork for its continued evolution in the centuries to come. As we move forward in our exploration, we will discover how Stoicism transitioned into the Middle Stoic period adapting to the changing landscape and embracing a more cosmopolitan and practical approach. Middle Stoa Flourishing beyond Athens, the Middle Stoa under Panetius and Posidonius. We now embark on the journey into the Middle Stoa period, 2nd and 1st centuries BC, where Stoicism blossomed beyond the confines of Athens and embraced a more cosmopolitan and practical approach. This era, witnessed the rise of prominent figures like Panetius and Posidonius, who further enriched and adapted Stoic philosophy to the changing world around them. Panetius, bridging East and West. Panetius, a student of Chrysippus, played a pivotal role in bridging the gap between Greek and Roman cultures. He traveled extensively, introducing Stoicism to influential figures in Rome and fostering a dialogue between Eastern and Western philosophical traditions. Panetius's contributions introduced Stoicism to the Roman intellectual elite, making it more accessible and palatable to a wider audience. Emphasized the importance of education and character development for individuals and society. Advocated for a more moderate Stoicism, integrating aspects of other philosophical schools like Aristotelianism. Posidonius, a multifaceted scholar, 
Posidonius, a student of Panaetius, was a polymath who excelled in various fields including astronomy, geography, and philosophy. He further diversified Stoicism, incorporating insights from diverse disciplines and promoting a more practical application of its principles. Posidonius's contributions developed the concept of oikeiosis, emphasizing our interconnectedness with the universe and our responsibility towards all living beings. Further developed the Stoic theory of natural law, advocating for universal moral principles applicable across cultures. Utilized his scientific knowledge to support Stoic cosmology and explain the natural world through rational principles. Middle Stoa, a shift in focus, the Middle Stoa, witnessed a significant shift from the primarily theoretical focus of the early Stoa towards a more practical application of Stoic principles. This included emphasis on ethical guidance and individual character development. Focus on applying Stoic principles to everyday life and navigating challenges. Integration of Stoicism with existing Roman social and political structures. Development of various writing styles, including dialogues and essays, to reach a broader audience. Legacy of the Middle Stoa The Middle Stoa played a key role in shaping Stoicism into the influential philosophy we recognize today. By adapting to the changing cultural landscape and focusing on practical application, Panaceus, Posidonius, and their contemporaries ensured that Stoicism remained relevant and accessible to an ever-widening audience. Their contributions paved the way for the late Stoa period, where we will encounter iconic figures like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, who further enriched Stoicism and left their own lasting mark on history. The World as Our Home Cosmopolitanism in the Middle Stoa As we delve deeper into the Middle Stoa period, one of the most significant developments that emerges is the emphasis on cosmopolitanism. This shift in perspective broadened the scope of Stoic philosophy, moving beyond the confines of national identity and embracing the concept of a unified world community. What is cosmopolitanism? Cosmopolitanism, in the context of the Middle Stoa, meant recognizing oneself as a citizen of the world, rather than being solely defined by one's birthplace or cultural background. This concept emphasized the inherent interconnectedness of all human beings promoting a sense of shared humanity and responsibility. Key Aspects of Stoic Cosmopolitanism Universal Reason Stoics believed in a universal reason, Logos, that governs the universe. This led to the view that all human beings, regardless of their origins, share a common rational nature and are ultimately connected. Natural Law Stoics also believed in a universal natural law, a set of principles inherent in nature that apply to all people. This law guides us towards living virtuously and fulfilling our duties to our fellow humans. Oikeiosis The concept of oikeiosis or appropriateness further emphasized our interconnectedness. It suggests that we have a natural inclination to care for one another and contribute to the well-being of the larger human community. Prominent figures in Stoic cosmopolitanism Panaetius played a crucial role in introducing Stoicism to Roman society and promoting a cosmopolitan outlook. Posidonius traveled extensively and interacted with diverse cultures, furthering the idea of a unified world community. Cicero, a Roman statesman and philosopher who integrated Stoic principles, including cosmopolitanism, into his writings and political discourse. Impact of Stoic Cosmopolitanism the emphasis on cosmopolitanism in the Middle Stoa had a profound impact on various aspects of society, promoted tolerance and understanding between different cultures and ethnicities, encouraged a sense of global responsibility and concern for the well-being of all people, provided a philosophical framework for international cooperation and diplomacy, influenced legal and political systems towards recognizing universal rights and justice. Legacy of Stoic Cosmopolitanism even today, the principles of Stoic cosmopolitanism continue to resonate. In a world facing increasing globalization and interconnectedness, the concept of a unified human community remains relevant and important. As we strive for a more peaceful and just world, 
The teachings of the Middle Stoa offer valuable insights into fostering a sense of global citizenship and collective responsibility for the future of humankind. Bringing Philosophy to Life The Practical Stoicism of the Middle Stoa As we continue exploring the Middle Stoa period, we encounter a significant shift in focus. From the primarily theoretical approach of the early Stoa to a more practical application of Stoic principles in daily life, this emphasis on practical application made Stoicism more accessible and relevant to a wider audience, allowing individuals to integrate its wisdom into their everyday experiences and challenges. Key Features of Practical Stoicism Emphasis on Ethical Guidance Middle Stoicism focused on providing practical guidance for living a virtuous life in accordance with nature and reason. This included concrete advice on dealing with emotions managing desires and navigating difficult situations. Development of exercises and techniques. Stoics developed various practical exercises and techniques, such as meditation, journaling, and negative visualization to cultivate self-awareness, emotional control, and resilience. Focus on character development. The Middle Stoa emphasized the importance of character development over external factors like wealth or social status. They believed that true happiness and fulfillment came from cultivating inner virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Integration with other disciplines. Stoic principles were integrated with other disciplines like medicine, law, and politics providing a framework for making ethical decisions and contributing positively to society. Prominent figures in practical Stoicism Panaetius advocated for a moderate and practical Stoicism that could be easily integrated into everyday life. Posidonius combined his Stoic philosophy with his scientific knowledge to offer practical advice on various aspects of life. Cicero used Stoic principles to guide his political career and promote ethical leadership. Impact of Practical Stoicism The emphasis on practical application had a profound impact on the lives of individuals and society as a whole. Increased accessibility Stoicism became more approachable and easier to implement in daily life, attracting a wider audience beyond academics and philosophers. Enhanced well-being. Stoic practices helped individuals cultivate inner peace, manage stress and emotions, and navigate adversity with greater resilience. Improved relationships. By promoting understanding, compassion, and ethical conduct, Stoicism fostered stronger and more meaningful relationships. Positive influence on society. Stoic principles contributed to the development of just and equitable legal and political systems. Legacy of Practical Stoicism Even today, the emphasis on practical application remains a core element of Stoicism. Modern practitioners continue to draw inspiration from the Middle Stoa, using its tools and techniques to improve their lives and make a positive impact on the world around them. This focus on practical application ensures that Stoicism remains a relevant and valuable philosophy for navigating the complexities of modern life. Middle Stoic Luminaries, Cicero and Cato the Younger As we continue our journey into the Middle Stoa period, let's meet two prominent figures who significantly impacted the development and dissemination of Stoic philosophy, Cicero and Cato the Younger. These remarkable individuals exemplified the integration of Stoic principles into various aspects of life leaving a lasting legacy in the fields of politics, law, and education. Cicero The Eloquent Statesman Cicero, a renowned Roman statesman, orator, and philosopher, played a pivotal role in introducing Stoicism to Roman society. He extensively studied and wrote about Stoic philosophy, integrating its principles into his political discourse and legal arguments. Cicero's contributions translated and introduced key Stoic texts to a Roman audience. Synthesized Stoicism with Roman political and legal traditions. Advocated for justice, moderation, and ethical leadership based on Stoic principles. Wrote extensively on various philosophical topics, 
including ethics, law, and politics. Cato the Younger, the Stoic Ideal. Cato the Younger, a Roman politician and military leader, was known for his unwavering commitment to Stoic ideals. He lived a life of virtue, integrity, and self-discipline, serving as a living example of Stoic principles in action. Cato's contributions embodied Stoic principles of courage, justice, and duty throughout his life, remained steadfast in his beliefs even in the face of political opposition and personal danger, demonstrated the practical application of Stoicism in public service and leadership, served as an inspiration for future generations of Stoics. Legacy of the Middle Stoa Cicero and Cato the Younger, along with other notable figures like Panaetius and Posidonius, played a crucial role in shaping the Middle Stoa and solidifying its influence within the Roman world. Their contributions ensured the continued development of Stoicism and laid the foundation for its future flourishing during the late Stoa period. Now that we have explored the Middle Stoa and encountered its key figures, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of the Late Stoa, where we will meet iconic figures like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, who further enriched Stoic philosophy and left their own lasting mark on history. Late Stoa Roman Stoics, embracing wisdom in the face of empire. Our journey through the history of Stoicism now arrives at the late Stoa period, 1st and 2nd centuries AD, where we encounter some of its most iconic figures, Seneca, Musonius Rufus, and Epictetus. These Roman Stoics faced the complexities of life within the powerful Roman Empire, offering invaluable insights on navigating personal challenges, societal pressures, and the pursuit of wisdom amidst a changing world. Seneca, the philosopher statesman. Seneca, a prominent Roman statesman, playwright, and philosopher, embraced Stoicism as a guide for navigating the turbulent political landscape. His writings offer a unique blend of practical advice and philosophical reflections, providing valuable tools for cultivating inner peace and resilience. Seneca's contributions wrote extensively on various topics, including ethics, politics, and the art of living, emphasized the importance of emotional control and rational thinking for achieving a fulfilling life, offered practical exercises and techniques for managing fear, anger, and other negative emotions, advocated for ethical leadership based on stoic principles of justice and compassion, Musonius Rufus, the teacher and advocate, Musonius Rufus, a Roman philosopher and teacher, dedicated his life to educating others about Stoic principles. He emphasized the importance of applying Stoicism to daily life and actively contributing to society. Musonius Rufus's contributions founded a school in Rome where he taught philosophy to students from diverse backgrounds, emphasized the practical application of Stoicism to social and political issues, advocated for social justice, including the rights of women and slaves, encouraged active participation in public life and responsible citizenship. Epictetus, the exiled slave and Stoic master. Though born into slavery and later exiled, Epictetus became one of the most influential Stoic teachers of his time. His lectures, recorded by his student Arian, offer timeless wisdom on self-acceptance living in accordance with nature and finding happiness in the present moment. Epictetus's contributions emphasize the importance of focusing on what we can control, our thoughts and actions, and letting go of what we cannot control, external events. Developed the concept of the dichotomy of control as a tool for managing anxieties and frustrations. Taught students to find meaning and purpose in fulfilling their duties to themselves and others advocated for a life of simplicity, self-sufficiency, and inner peace. Legacy of the Roman Stoics The Roman Stoics, including Seneca, Musonius Rufus, and Epictetus, left an indelible mark on the history of Stoicism. Their writings and teachings continue to inspire individuals to live with virtue, resilience, and wisdom, even amidst the challenges of life. Their contributions highlight how Stoicism can be applied to various aspects of life, from personal relationships and political leadership, to navigating emotional turmoil, 
and finding fulfillment in a complex world. Stoicism's profound impact on Roman society and politics. As we delve deeper into the late Stoa period, we witness how Stoicism transcended the realm of philosophy and permeated various aspects of Roman society and politics. This profound influence shaped the lives of Roman citizens, informed political discourse and decision-making, and left a lasting legacy on the fabric of the Roman Empire. Impact on Roman society. Emphasis on virtues. Stoicism encouraged individuals to cultivate virtues like justice, courage, wisdom, and temperance. This led to a more responsible and civic-minded citizenry, contributing to social stability and order. Education and self-improvement. Stoics emphasized the importance of education and self-improvement. This led to the establishment of schools and libraries, promoting intellectual pursuits and personal growth among citizens. Social reform. Stoic principles influenced social reforms aimed at improving the lives of the less fortunate. This included advocating for the rights of women and slaves and promoting charitable practices. Family values. Stoicism emphasized the importance of strong family values and filial piety. This contributed to strengthening social bonds and promoting a sense of community. Impact on Roman politics. Ethical leadership. Stoic principles informed the ideals of ethical leadership. Rulers were expected to be just, fair, and act in the best interests of the people. Duty and responsibility. Stoicism emphasized the importance of duty and responsibility, encouraging citizens to participate in public life and contribute to the well-being of the state. Law and justice. Stoicism influenced the development of Roman law, emphasizing the importance of reason, justice, and fairness in legal proceedings. Political stability. Stoicism promoted political stability by encouraging citizens to be loyal to the state and accept the rule of law. Notable Stoics in Roman politics. Marcus Aurelius, Roman emperor known for his wisdom, justice, and adherence to Stoic principles. His writings, including meditations, offer invaluable insights into Stoic thought and leadership. Cato the Younger. Stoic politician who fiercely opposed corruption and tyranny, demonstrating the courage and integrity of a true Stoic. Cicero, statesman and orator who integrated Stoic principles into his political discourse, advocating for justice and ethical governance. Seneca, advisor to emperors who used his Stoic wisdom to guide political decisions and promote peace within the empire. Enduring Legacy the profound influence of Stoicism on Roman society and politics continues to resonate even today. The emphasis on virtue, self-improvement, social responsibility, and ethical leadership remains relevant in modern political discourse and social movements. As we strive to build a more just and equitable world, the insights offered by Roman Stoicism provide valuable guidance and inspiration for individuals and communities alike. Cultivating Inner Excellence the emphasis on personal development and moral character in the late Stoa. As we delve deeper into the late Stoa period, we encounter a key emphasis, the importance of personal development and moral character. This focus moved beyond the external world and political landscape, encouraging individuals to cultivate inner strength, virtue, and a sense of purpose through self-reflection and ethical practice. Key features of personal development in the late Stoa. Self-awareness. Stoics emphasize the importance of self-awareness, encouraging individuals to examine their thoughts, emotions, and motivations. This introspective practice helped identify areas for growth and cultivate self-mastery. Living in accordance with nature. Late Stoics believed in living in accordance with nature, which meant aligning one's actions and desires with the principles of reason and virtue. This fostered harmony within oneself and with the larger universe. Cultivating Virtue The four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, formed the core of Stoic ethics. Individuals were encouraged to develop these virtues through practice and self-discipline, 
leading to a more fulfilling and ethical life. Accepting what we cannot control, Stoicism recognized the limitations of human control by focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions, and reactions, and accepting what we cannot, external events. Individuals could cultivate resilience and avoid unnecessary suffering. Prominent figures in personal development, Seneca. In his writings, Seneca emphasizes the importance of self-reflection, emotional control, and finding happiness within oneself. Epictetus. Through his lectures, Epictetus teaches individuals to distinguish between what they can and cannot control, and to live in accordance with nature and reason. Marcus Aurelius. His personal journal, Meditations, offers profound insights into Stoic philosophy and the daily practice of cultivating virtue and inner peace. Impact of personal development. Increased resilience. By focusing on inner strength and accepting what they cannot control, individuals developed greater resilience in the face of challenges and adversity. Improved relationships. Cultivating virtue and empathy led to more positive and fulfilling relationships with others. Inner peace and fulfillment. By aligning their lives with stoic principles, individuals found a sense of inner peace and fulfillment, even amidst external circumstances. Positive influence on society. As individuals focused on personal development and ethical conduct, the overall society benefited from increased cooperation, social responsibility, and a commitment to justice. Legacy of personal development. The emphasis on personal development and moral character remains a cornerstone of Stoicism today. Modern practitioners continue to draw inspiration from the late Stoa, utilizing its tools and techniques to cultivate self-awareness, develop positive qualities, and lead a more fulfilling life. This focus on inner growth ensures that Stoicism remains a relevant and valuable philosophy for navigating the complexities of the modern world. The Enduring Wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, Meditations, and Stoic Insights As we delve into the late Stoa period, one figure stands out for his profound influence on Stoic philosophy and modern thought, Marcus Aurelius, Roman Emperor and renowned Stoic philosopher. His personal journal, Meditations, offers a unique glimpse into the mind of a powerful leader grappling with personal challenges and seeking wisdom in the face of adversity. Meditations, a window into the Stoic mind. Meditations is not a formal philosophical treatise, but rather a collection of personal reflections and self-reminders. It reveals Marcus Aurelius's inner world, his struggles with doubt and fear, and his unwavering commitment to Stoic principles. Key themes in meditations. Living in accordance with nature. Marcus Aurelius repeatedly emphasizes the importance of aligning one's life with nature, both external and internal. This includes accepting what is beyond our control and focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions, and reactions. Duty and Responsibility As emperor, Marcus Aurelius felt a heavy sense of duty towards the Roman people. Meditations reflects his commitment to fulfilling his responsibilities with wisdom, justice, and compassion. Emotional Control Stoicism emphasizes the importance of controlling one's emotions rather than being controlled by them. Meditations provides insights into Marcus Aurelius's practice of managing his emotions and maintaining inner peace. Acceptance of Mortality Stoicism acknowledges the inevitability of death. Meditations contains numerous reminders to live each day to the fullest, recognizing the fleeting nature of life. Impact of Meditations Meditations has had a profound impact on readers throughout history. Its timeless wisdom continues to inspire individuals with its message of resilience, self-acceptance, and living a virtuous life. Meditations Today, even in our modern world, meditations remains a valuable source of guidance and inspiration. Its practical insights on navigating difficult emotions, finding meaning in life, and facing adversity 
resonate with readers across cultures and backgrounds. Legacy of Marcus Aurelius Marcus Aurelius, through his personal reflections and meditations, has left an indelible mark on the history of Stoicism. His writings continue to provide valuable tools for cultivating wisdom, resilience, and a virtuous life, reminding us that even in the face of challenges, we can find inner peace and meaning through self-awareness and adherence to Stoic principles. As we conclude our exploration of the late Stoa, we carry the wisdom of meditations forward. In the next chapter, we will venture into the modern world and discover how Stoicism continues to inspire individuals and communities, offering invaluable tools for navigating the complexities of our time. The enduring legacy of Stoicism, from ancient roots to modern relevance. 1. Decline of Stoicism as a Formal School Despite its flourishing during the late Stoa period, Stoicism gradually declined as a formal school of thought in the early centuries CE. Various factors contributed to this decline including rise of Christianity and Neoplatonism. These competing philosophies offered different perspectives on life, morality, and the divine, attracting many who were previously drawn to Stoicism. Political and Social Changes the fall of the Roman Empire and the emergence of new political structures led to a shift in philosophical focus, with less emphasis on Stoic ideals of duty and civic engagement. Loss of Central Figures The deaths of prominent Stoic thinkers like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus marked a significant loss of leadership and guidance for the Stoic community. 2. Enduring Influence of Stoic Ideas Though not formally practiced as a school of thought, Stoic ideas continued to exert a profound influence on various fields. Philosophy, Stoicism influenced later philosophical movements like Neo-Stoicism and modern existentialism, sharing concepts like individual responsibility and the importance of finding meaning in life. Theology Christian and Islamic theology borrowed heavily from Stoic ethics, particularly the emphasis on virtues like justice, compassion, and self-control. Literature. Stoic themes and characters are found in the works of numerous writers, including Shakespeare, Cervantes, and Goethe, highlighting the enduring relevance of Stoic ideas through the ages. 3. Rediscovery and Modern Adaptations. In the 20th and 21st centuries, Stoicism has experienced a resurgence of interest and adaptation. New Stoicism movement, modern authors and thinkers like Massimo Pigliucci, William Irvine, and Ryan Holiday have reinterpreted Stoicism for contemporary audiences, making its principles accessible and relevant to modern life. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Stoic principles have been incorporated into psychotherapy approaches like cognitive behavioral therapy, helping individuals manage emotions and navigate challenges. Popularity in self-help and popular culture. Stoic ideas are increasingly appearing in self-help books, podcasts, and even films, reaching a wider audience and sparking interest in the philosophy. 4. Relevance in addressing contemporary challenges. Stoicism offers valuable tools for addressing contemporary challenges like anxiety and stress. Stoic practices like mindfulness and reframing. Negative thoughts can help individuals manage anxiety and develop resilience in the face of stress. Meaning and purpose. Stoicism emphasizes finding meaning in fulfilling one's duties and living in accordance with nature, providing a framework for navigating the uncertainties of modern life. Relationships and social issues. Stoic principles like compassion, Justice and self-control can foster healthier relationships and contribute to a more just and equitable society. Conclusion Though its formal structure may have faded, Stoicism's legacy remains vibrant. From its ancient roots to its modern interpretations, the philosophy continues to offer valuable insights and practical tools for countering Stoicism. A timeless philosophy for a modern world. Summary of Key Points Stoicism originated in ancient Greece and flourished in the Roman Empire, offering guidance on living a virtuous and fulfilling life. 
Key concepts include the dichotomy of control, living in accordance with nature, and cultivating the cardinal virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Stoicism emphasizes personal development, self-awareness, and emotional control as crucial for achieving inner peace and navigating life's challenges. Though its formal structure declined, Stoicism's influence continues to resonate in various fields like philosophy, theology, and literature. Modern adaptations of Stoicism, such as New Stoicism and its integration into cognitive behavioral therapy, make its principles relevant and accessible to contemporary audiences. Stoicism provides valuable tools for addressing modern challenges like anxiety, stress, and the search for meaning and purpose. Enduring value and potential. Stoicism's core message of resilience, self-reliance, and living in accordance with nature remains relevant and valuable in today's complex and fast-paced world. By practicing Stoicism, we can cultivate inner peace, manage our emotions effectively, and navigate life's challenges with greater clarity and wisdom. Further exploration, books meditations by Marcus Aurelius, A Guide to the Good Life by William Irvine, The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday, websites, The Stoic Gym, Modern Stoicism, The School of Life, podcasts, The Stoic Coffee Break, Philosophize This, The Partially Examined Life, online courses, Stoicism, A Practical Guide for Living, by The Great Courses, Stoicism and the Art of Happiness, by Yale University. By engaging with these resources and actively practicing Stoic principles, we can unlock the philosophy's transformative potential and live more meaningful and fulfilling lives. Remember, Stoicism is not a spectator sport. It requires dedication, practice, and a willingness to confront our own shortcomings. But the rewards are immeasurable. Inner peace, resilience, and the ability to navigate life's challenges with wisdom and grace.